Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlene and as promised, I am going to show you inside of my quiet time baskets. Now let me tell you what's been going on. You guys know I have several devotions, several spaces I have created to be comfortable because there's a lot going on in my home and there is going to be a lot to come, which I'll talk about that in another video, but I need to be on guard and the Bible is the weapon and there's a lot of spiritual stuff going on and you need to be equipped and not only for the spiritual warfare, but most importantly, to get to know your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to get to know God and who he is and his character and just stay grounded. You have to stay grounded. So invest in your time with the Lord, which is why the quiet time basket or bag or carrier is such an amazing idea. May God bless the person who initiated this because this is so bomb. But anyway, through the um, course of the next couple of, I guess, week, maybe, I don't know how long this, this is going to take, but I do have more than one basket. And shortly, I tell you, it's because, again, there's going to be a lot of things going on in my home in the next couple of months to year where I need to be prepared no matter what room I'm in. Um, whether I need to do a quiet time in my office, in the bedroom, in the living room, or in the spare room. And right now, I'm showing you the one from my bedroom. And everything is intentional. And I'm going to go through each and everything piece by piece. And feel free to comment and drop ideas. Or if something truly stood out to you, let me know. I plan on doing um, videos around giving out ideas because a lot of things come to my mind and it's, I know it's not my puny mind. Like I know it's from God and I know it will be of some help to you. And as someone who has trouble focusing, who's um, in a very busy moment in her life with small kids and a husband who's pastoring and getting that straight and also having health issues, it's a lot. And I'm constantly going, I have sick kids too. Like, um, this is something that I kind of threw out there kind of here and there, but overall I have gone through a numerous of doctor visits. So you have to be on guard y'all. And you cannot slack in this area because this is how you fight your battles, your spiritual warfare. And this is how you spend time knowing God. So this is a must. Um, and I'm going to talk about that too, like what's necessary and what's not so necessary, but let me just go ahead and get into this. So this won't get too wordy. I have here this really cute, boho theme eyeglass case. I got it from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's been a couple months now, but I fell in love as soon as I saw it. And I wish I had got the other one because I think it was out of town. And so far, the Dollar Trees locally have not gotten this one. And I'm just like, oh, because they had a lighter one and they had this one. And as soon as I saw it, I was thinking that that would fit the theme um, in my, in here. But then I kind of changed in here and I also ended up changing in the bedroom because we had got a new bed. So we need a new comforter set. And now this is fitting right into it, but not as so much as boho per se, but kind of like, a, I don't want to say African either, but it's, it's, it's looking kind of travel in there. I ain't gonna lie, but not in a drastic way, but it is just so happened to happen, which maybe I'll give you a tour one day. Who knows? But anyway, so my glasses are in here and I got my strongest prescription glasses in here. And I'll tell you why, because this particular Bible has glossy paper. And if you know anything about Bible pages and lighting, this is probably the most hardest on your eyes, which is why most Bibles are going to the cream color pages or the other material and not the glossy. Because after a whole lot of reading and staring and glaring, your eyes take a toll. Been home. Next, I decided to keep my Mr. Pen transparent sticky notes in here. Um, reason being because these are really light and obviously you can see through them. And this particular Bible doesn't have much space like my journaling Bible. So I decided to put the sticky notes in there. And to be honest, I've been using the bigger one and not so much the smaller ones, but Hopefully that'll change. I don't know. I just automatically think get big and I usually fill the big one up. Next, this is a Praying God's Word Day by Day Year Devotion by Beth Moore. 
This is actually a book that was left here by his mom. And she pretty much told me she's still alive and well. She told me to um, keep it. Whatever. Well, in short, she said anything that's left here that I like, that I want to please keep it. And this is one of the things where I kind of slept on. It's literally like praying um, scripture. And I just go to one to give you the idea for today. It says, Lord, I have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But you tell me to love my enemies and pray for those who persecute me, that I might be a child of Father in heaven. Like literally you're praying scripture. And again, this is by Beth Moore. It's an old one. And as you can see, what she would do is she would write the number of times she actually read through this which I think is really cool. It's dated 2006. But anyway, definitely a good way to get that scripture in your mind and to fight with the word. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, and I like how it has like this like sun rising theme right here. So I'm like, yes, definitely in here because you need to do that first thing in the morning. You need to pray. I have here just two regular pens. This one is by Bic Black Ink. And this is a fine liner. And I just got them in here just because I got extra pens everywhere. That's subject to change. Um, but I do feel it is necessary because between praying and reading God's word, you never know how he's gonna speak to you or what word he would give to you. And God knows you do not want to forget it. And especially if you're meant to share it with someone, make sure you have some type of paper, some type of pen because you never know how God works. But anyway, this is a little prayer prompted uh, thing, which I still fail to go look this up because I want to get more. I want to get some mail to me. At this point, I even pay for it because I think it's really amazing. But um, it would be a blessing if it was free though. <laughs> but anyway, this is an old one that I got from like a Goodwill thrift store and it was given out for free. And y'all know me, my rule is do not focus on the date, but focus on how concrete the devotion is because all devotions aren't created equal. But anyway, what I do is I just go to the very next one I'm on, read the scripture, read uh this right here and then i'll do my reflection sometimes this is a prayer or it'll be a prayer right here and most of the time i'll just rewrite a prayer of my own words and this has been really good at just sitting at jesus feet and just taking him in like i said i can't even explain how much of a blessing this little freebie was to be and to think that I, I wasn't going to store looking for it was just right there and like i said a regular person would have said hey it says october november of 2021 it's no good but that's if god's word is true and we believe it to be true it doesn't matter devotions are timeless do not just throw away a devotion because it's dated per year even if it has like the days in it you just go to the day that you're on like don't worry about where it is on a calendar and this that and third been home. Next, I have prayer cards. These came from Dollar Tree as well. I absolutely positively love them because they kind of jumpstart me too. Like I just go to the scripture and they kind of summarize what it is. So of course you got to go get the real deal and pick up the Bible. And I decided to put these black and white ones that are meant to be colored, but I probably won't ever color them because they kind of match the room, to be honest, because I got so many of them. Y'all know every time I go in Dollar Tree, I pick up the prayer cards. But anyway, this is a newbie. I recently um, picked up this notebook from Walmart. It was on sale, thank God, because the original price was eight bucks. I'm like, mm, that's kind of too steep for me. But $4 is about somewhere where Burlington, Ross, and TJ, their little notebook spiral like this will cost two. And I needed something with plain pages because I mentioned in my other video that most of my books like this has like a scripture at the bottom and it kind of prompt me to kind of want to focus on that scripture or not feel like I should be writing in it about anything else because there's a whole scripture at the bottom of the page. So I got plain spiral notebooks so I can just write notes and be free. And of course, if I get stuck, I know to go to the other type of notebook and, you know, pull that scripture and say, okay, I can focus my devotion and my quiet time around this. All right. Next, I have my Charles Stanley devotion into his presence absolutely positively love anything he put his hands on any of his books any of his devotions and you want to like i said keep something that will help you 
jumpstart you in case you need it. It's not necessary. Um, I would say even the prayer book, like I said, these are preferences of mine. But you know, if there's a certain book about theology or different concepts or specific studies of books of the Bible, whatever you're used to, whatever works for you. Um, obviously, most people opt to get a devotion because it gives you something new every single day. And it kind of does the hard work for you. You have your title, you have your overview, you have prayers often, scripture reading, deeper reading, key verses, things like that. And yeah, so it kind of just gives you exactly what you need without doing all the hard part. But obviously with technology, a lot of people are going into using their phones. I'm not mad at it. I try to stay off my phone <clears throat> as of late because of the amount of screen time that has been recorded. And I'm just like, no, um, go back to the old school way and spend time with God in that manner. Many of the good part about the phone is you can go to different apps like Uversion and they have plans for you and you can go and work out your plans day by day and you can switch it up and change it. You can have one for the morning, one for the evening, and it kind of creates less need for a bunch of stuff, which means your basket will probably have less in it. Um, but like I said, whatever works for you, as you can see, this is a really, really little basket, but it works especially for the space that is in in my room and in my bedroom and it holds exactly what I want it to have so anywho so let me make sure I do got a index card in case there's something that God gave me on Inspire and I need to take out of the bedroom and come in here into the office and make a video about it I have flags uh, for my devotions if I remember it's not necessary but I like to mark which ones I've read and it kind of encourages you to see your progress and I think that will help anyone. And then I have a reading plan in case uh, once again I get stuck because as you know I've actually gone through this reading plan and towards the end and then when it came to this side I was like ah, I ended up doing my own thing but I still finished reading through the Bible but on the day that I get stuck or I need something to read something to make me be still i know to come here like for today on the fifth it says mark 15 through 16 then i will read that no questions asked not even think hard about it because if you start thinking hard about stuff you start not doing as much or least but anyway we're at the end of the basket here the most important thing this was hard um i kept going back and forth about which bible should be in my bedroom for the longest, I had my NIV extra large print or regular large print, I guess, um, application Bible. And I never opened it. I don't know if because it was so big and bulky and I got this thing with Bible sizes. Y'all know me by now. This Bible is significant and I'm glad I chose it to put in this basket. This Bible is one of the first Bibles that I bought outside of my second owned Bible or three. I think I had, hold on. Cause I had the NIV small zebra one. I had the purple zebra one. I had the NIV journaling Bible and I have my Bible from my youth. One of them. I had four Bibles up until that point. And then I got the study Bible. Cause I'm like, Lord, I don't have a study Bible. And I was looking into some stuff and reading some reviews and also, I was being more cautious about spending, a whole lot more cautious. And I stumbled across this on Amazon, I believe, and it was 30 bucks. And I said, 30 bucks, study Bible. And of course, my husband and I have signed in here. And I consider this like my marriage, like that Bible that just signifies, like, let's do this. And I got this shortly after we got married. And, um, which is why I think it's significant for it to be in the bedroom. It is King James. And <clears throat> I do go back and forth with saying, uh, should I get such a, <clears throat> excuse me, complicated virgin for my bedroom? But <sighs> there's, <clears throat> I don't want to offend. There's no place like home is where I leave it. 
like I said, when I first got married, this was the Bible I was in a lot. And I didn't even realize how much I was in here. Like, I was like, this Bible seems pretty clean, but not what you think. Like, every now and again, you'll run across a page that's heavily notated or something like that. But, I mean, obviously, there's room for growth. But you can just see signs of God stirring the pot in me, like, just hungry. Like, the desire started to grow. And Lord knows, with such a complex translation, I was like, God, it, I can't believe I was in your word every day trying. I was trying and pushing myself. And even now, I'm more comfortable in it now than I was then. And I'm like, God, that's you, not me, because I was struggling. But I tell you this, you make sure you pick the translation that you will read and understand. If there's a significant Bible, by all means, put in the work you would not regret it, whether, you know, because I know a lot of people when they get Bibles from churches and their grandparents more times and often it is King James. There's a lot of people who are rooted in King James. I'm not fighting it. Um, I say whatever works for you. There is something significant about King James that I enjoy. I also enjoy other translations. Y'all know my top three, four, I guess, <laughs> would definitely have to be ESV, NIV, New Living Translation. And then I would go King James. And guess what? I think New King James would even come after this because, I don't know, it's just kind of like, okay, it's just there. But anyway, get the Bible you're going to read and study. And I would say you don't have to be complicated like me. Um, if I could give any advice to end this video, definitely do what works best for you. And don't complicate your quiet time because of what you see and what you hear. Everybody's going to have their own idea, understanding of what they need and what's acceptable. You do what works for you. You consult God and say, God, what do I need? And then you go from there. And the only other thing I would say outside of this King James Home and Study Bible that's fully colored, personal size, I just realized I didn't say anything about what it was. But anyway, like I said, I got it on Amazon. I did the test myself. There are sunflowers. But like I said, do what works best for you. Get the tools you need. I would even say don't be in a haste to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff because I once did that too. And I have a lot of regret purchases and I end up going back to some basic fundamental stuff. Like I bought a lot of Bibles and went through a lot of phases and I end up going, like you see, right back to one of these basic Bibles that I got in the beginning of my hunger for God. So... Take your time with it. Use what you got. Be smart and be wise. Been him. Putting everything back in here. Slightly different, but it's okay. But as you can see, everything fits. And I enjoy my quiet time basket. And again, this is the one for my bedroom. So stay tuned for my others. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.